Hi. Right, so I'm ready to have a go at another one now. I've, I've wet the paper on this, I've done a quick drawing on it. Just, and I've, I'm going to attempt to paint a bridge. I don't do many bridges, but I'm sure they're not as hard as they look. Right, okay, so I'm going to, I've reverted back to my normal palette of yellow, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, burnt up. Ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna. I'm not saying I'm going to use them all. But if I mix, let's get a quite strong background sky. So plenty of uh, burnt sienna, raw sienna, shall I say, in the mix. And a little bit in the water here. In the landscape. Right, while well that's nice and wet, um, I'm going to blot out just a bit of a bit of central light. I've got my cup of tea with me. And my, my clouds are going to be light red and ultramarine. Clean my palette. The, the ultramarine is quite damp. I, I, I squeezed it out this morning. Some blue in here. And a bit in here. Behind. Now I'm going to keep away from the top of the bridge. I I well I could I'll just leave that as it is for the for the moment. Need plenty of clean rag. Let's just take that down so that for a second with that. That bleeds. I've got trees all around there. But I want some colour in my bridge. Whoops. Yeah, but I don't want to put it in yet. Probably gone a bit hard, but I'm going to go over that with some with some trees. <coughs> but I want that to just to dry for a little bit. Um, so as it as it dries, we can. Sorry, I'm just looking at the surface. I'm going to use my inch brush for this because it's a bit. It might be a little bit more accurate to position my hay. So let's get this. Grey, nice warm grey, a bit of paint grey maybe. So um, we'll put in. Pine looking trees, but be careful of my I'm 
my um, bridge. I might have to clean it out if it bleeds down a bit too much. So I can, I can clean that bridge out afterwards, so don't worry. I will uh, go in with some uh, darker greys. Keep their bristles together, right? Just these pines up first. Very wet there. Let's just reclip. I did give this a soak before I turned the camera on. These sort of trees are quite easy to do, as long as you don't try and do portraits of them. And just, just very. And then we come back up a little bit here. to wait for, probably for that so just to dry off a little bit before I get thick paint in that will actually stay where I put it. Okay. So that's that side and then we can put in some even heavier ones in the front of that. I'll let that dry for a minute. Oh, there's a good bit of a bush around here. Okay. So a little bit of that bridge. Uh, Right, okay. Um, need some dark in the bottom of these just to. Okay, that's that. So, some similar bluey grey pines on the other side. Let's put the, the, uh, the pine branches on so we all know that there are pines there just behind.
Alright, so okay, we can, we can pick out some wood. Right, uh, work down the picture on this. I've now going to put those build buildings in. So let's just put a very light blue. Leave a margin, if you do trees around the roofs, leave a margin of white. Otherwise, it'll merge a bit with the, with the wet paint behind. So we've got some burn on there, let's see. Mm. And let's bring in a bit of yellow oak, a bit of moss yellow and a bit of bit of brown. Uh, it's all a case of, of letting this sort of dry before you uh, Down too far because the bridge comes down there. No, it's okay. It might be uneven there. Dark shadow here. You can always, if, if, if you've got dead paper you, and the paper paints wet, you can always just run it, just drag it in the direction of the clean water. So that it blends, and we'll put in a bit of darker stuff over there. darker on there. Let's uh, put in 
some foreground now while that's all drying. But before I do, I just want to clean out the top of that bridge a little bit. Right, that's a little bit there. Right, okay, so we've got a bit of warm. The sky is okay. Um, what I haven't done is to put in that grey, bit of grey, that grey banking underneath. So there we are. That bit of far bank. Right, but, uh, so we can see the other sides of this bridge here, so that's going to be the uh, right, something like that. We've got lots of rocks to put in here, but, but working, working down here, let's just put some colour on this bridge here. Put some darks in there. Oh, some sh Quite a good colour. Rocks and stuff here. Stone in there somewhere. Oh, and we've got lots of big stones in here, so... So this is nice and dark under this, under the uh, 
Ja, schwer. Right, okay. Let that go. Now we're going to put in some. Let's go back to the. Uh, oh, we still need to, to use do some texturing on the roof. Right, okay, so, so far so good. Uh, let's put a bit of greeny grey in here. Not dark enough. Right, okay. So far, so okay. A bit of warm on the bridge, really, some warm, more warm stones. Right, now we can go with some landscape now before we even think about the rocks. In this screen, fast flying screen. So we're we'll, we're we'll putting some nice sienna, a bit of burnt umber. I've got some rocks to go in here as well, so I'll just get some banking. Shadow in there. So I'm going to put some rocks in here. So to do that, I want some nice, rich, dark, but warm. So I can use my. Hard. So let's just okay. So I think they're right. It's a little bit of light, and then we'll uh, go over to the other side and do some nice greeny stuff. Mix all the colours. Uh -huh. So the river's coming down here, across there, around here. Some warmer colours. Put some dark, dark foliage up against some of that. So, let's move on the rocks. Nice rock colour.
as always, we'll put the, uh, the water in last. And keep it wet. And if you leave this too long, it's going to go go down. Right, okay, let's uh, put one in here. Nice and wet. Keep it going. Right, card, this is where you have to be, be quick. Okay. Uh, any more darks in there? No, let's do some bit of detailing of in really dark uh, green. And yeah, just some bushes in the shadow here. That's a little bit of texture on there. Bit of grass. And it's a bit of silver footbridge, right? Really. Now while that's drying off, I need to go and do the uh, these tr some trees behind here. So winter trees, so burnt umber, a bit of uh, Payne's grey, and no, that's not going to work. That brush. Go back to the hake. Got a bit wrong there. The papers are just a bit too uh, smooth for that, that particular brush. Uh, I'll just have one coming up here. Right, okay, I'll give that a bit of a dry. Take your headphones off. Rigger and burnt umber and uh, Payne's grey. Plenty of water for this because the small rigger it will soon run out of juice. can get a, quite a thick line with the rigger. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, just... Then we'll have a go at the water when I pluck up the courage. Put some figures and just a bit of calligraphy here and there, just to finish it off, give it some detail. Right, okay, so that's that. So let's do. the shadow of the bridge a bit really in the water and I might be better with the flat there so I can get it actually get it in between the rocks. Let's try, give it a try. Uh, we'll find it. Hold on. Oh, I haven't done my tea. And then we've got some water tumbling down there, down there. And some nice, nice grey shadow in the water. Just, just to reflect some, some of that water and, and the shadow in the, in the rocks or from the rocks. All right, now just a bit of dark green, the side of the shed. couple of uh, some figures here. Let's use my small brush. Here.
for you there. Uh, I think probably bigger on the bridge. This is a footbridge. Okay, uh, probably just some. When I find my rigger, I thought I would just put down the must. Oh, here we go. So, have some, just some dark greens. Just a few twigs. Okay, not much more I can do with that. Uh, those some Thanks. No, right. that's all I'm going to do on that. Uh, let's give it a signature. Should we try it with the the, uh, the the ivory mount? That might be a bit better. Got quite a big margin. Now. A bit of a, oops. Okay, well there we are. Tumbling stream. Uh, where would that be? I think of somewhere. I've preserved the light coming through here. My rocks, I didn't paint the rocks. All I did was put the paint on and just scrape it off as you saw. Quite effective. Some warm, some not so warm. Nice grassy banks coming down here. I probably could have put a little bit, a bit like I probably should do, shouldn't I? Uh, just to, to connect here, just. Well, that'll do. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's uh, zoom in. I'll put a couple of figures in on the bridge and a figure there. Now, this is the bridge. I've, I've done it as simply as I can. I'm not, well, I'm not very practiced on bridges. So, there's my rocks, there's my huts, and there's my water with the rocks come up here to that side I shouldn't have put those in well let's have a look uh, they don't look quite right today let's uh, get a darker couple just blue and a bit of heavy in shadow here Right, 
that's it. No more. Well, I'm going to go and watch Alan Owen while this one uploads. He's got a new video out, so have a look. I had a long chat with him on the phone last night. He's been, been a bit down lately. And he's such a lovely guy. So there we are. Shropshire. Yes, the Welsh border, Shropshire. That will do. The Shropshire is very, very uh, rocky and, and uh, hilly with lovely rivers or streams, fast flowing, coming out of Welsh hills. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.